graphs again and we have talked about linear graphs before. What is a relationship? It says linear relationships. What is a relationship? Any relationship, not just linear. Yes? Uh, yep, yeah, relationship between two people, yes? Um, like a straight line in this case. In this case, straight line. What tells you it's a straight line in this case? Yeah, I'm still talking Gradient. to you. Huh? Like gradient. What gradient? Like the... The what? <laughs> yes. The highest power is one. The highest power is one, okay. It's a very good point. Can you see the power of x is? One. Yes. So we think it's a linear relationship, but how do we know? Why is it a linear relationship? Or why is it a relationship at all? So I've written a rule, y is equal to x plus 2. Now, if I put in different numbers for x, will y have a different value according to that? So have I put y and x in a rule together? Yeah. Yes, so isn't y now dependent on x? Yeah. Like you are in a relationship? Yeah. In a normal relationship or a healthy relationship, both people are dependent on each other, right? You do some things that help the other person, the other person does their bit, and then you're both dependent, you're co-dependent. However, in this case, Y is very selfish and it's just dependent on X. It just asks X to do all the work and then it just gets a value according to that. So let's see what happens if we change the value of X. So, y and x are connected by a rule or a relationship. Now, can I choose whatever value I want for x? Yes, yes I can. Because uh, have I given you any restrictions that x can't be this or x can't be that? No. Have I? No. no. So, what is the simplest possible number that you want to put? Now, again, you want to make your life easier. If you can choose any number, would you choose 1? Or rather choose 123.56? 1. 1. Sensible. So, let's say x is 1. So, if x is 1, what, what is y equal to? Whatever x is, plus 2. two. So, what's 1 plus 2? Three. 3. Does that make sense? Yeah. Can I choose another value for x? Can I choose 0? Yeah. So what is y? 0 plus 2, which is? 2. two. two. Can I choose negative 1? Yeah. Yes. So what's negative 1 plus 2? One. One. 1. So have I got three values? Yes. 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 Can I plot them now yeah. and see what kind of a graph I get? Yeah. So I was given a relationship between x and y, where y was dependent on x. We chose some random values for x and we are now going to plot them. So. We've done the Cartesian plane before. This should be evenly spaced. Eyes on the board, screens down. And this should be evenly spaced. Which axis is this? Which axis is this? X, X the depend independent one. And this is? Y. y. So when X is 1, Y is 3. 1, 3. Is this our first point? Yes. When x is 0, y is 2. x is 0, y is 3. Second point. When x is negative 1, y is 1. And they do lie on a straight line. Now yours should actually lie on a straight line because you have a ruler. Because we got a straight line, this relationship is called a linear relationship. Linear has the word line in it. Can you see that? Yeah, I know. So it was a relationship. But when we plot it, we get a straight line. That's why these relationships are called linear relationship. And someone actually um, pointed out that the highest power of x is 1. As long as the highest power of x is 1, all uh, relationships you sketch will have a straight line. As, as soon as you change the power, if there's an x squared term, will we get a straight line? No. And we'll learn about those later. Does that make sense? That's how we plot relationships. So you choose some values for x, then you get some values for y, and you plot them. This one, again, is this a relationship between x and y? Yes. 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 Let's get some values. I'm just going to choose 0, 1, and 2. Can I choose whichever ones I like? Yes. yes. So if x is 0, what's 2 times 0? 0. Plus 3? If x is 1, what's 2 times 1? 2. Plus 3? 5. If x is 2, 2 times 2? 4. Plus 3? 
All right, let's plot them. One, two, three, four, five. Again, which axis is this? Which axis is this? Again, your markings, you need a ruler to actually get them equal, uh, evenly spaced. So when x is 0, y is 3. x is 1, y is 5. And x is 2, y is 7. And I'm glad they still lie on a straight line because they should. You need a ruler for this one. Make sense? Yeah. Yes. Now, where do we use them in real life? I gave you some examples last lesson. Can you, anyone remember? Uh, your plumbing story. Plumbing story. So what happened to me on the weekend? Uh, you tripped over. Yeah. Yeah. No, I tripped over. What, what, what happened? <laughs> yes, Nick? Um, you got a quote for exactly so my hot water system broke down it wasn't heating up the water as much as I would have liked it so I got quotes from two different plumbers and what do plumbers charge a lot of money so when they come there before they've even actually fixed your hot water system there's a fee that they charge what's that fee called call that fee so the first plumber who came was the Indian of course the first one I'll call will be Indian how much, what was the call out fee? Let's say he charged me? $80. $80 call out fee. And what was his hourly rate? $80. $70. 70. Okay, so if he worked there for T hours, so that's his hourly rate, right? He had the $80 there. Doesn't matter whether he's even done anything or not. So if he stayed there for one hour, what would be the hourly rate? So 70 If he worked for two hours, what would be the hourly price he made? 70 times 2 if he worked for 3 hours, the hourly rate would be 70 times 3. If he worked for T hours, would that be the hourly rate? Yeah. So he's going to cost me 70 times the number of hours he's going to work, but also the $80. So what do I do to these two values? Do I add them? Won't that be the total amount of money I owe him? Yes. The call-up fee, $80, plus whatever number of hours he worked, times 70, because that's his hourly rate. Does that make sense? Yeah. Then, the second plumber, I was like, you know, um, you sound a bit sus. I'm going to get another quote. So the second plumber said, I'm going to charge 90 but $60 per hour. Which one will I go with? The Indian one, probably. But let's do the maths and see what happens. So, I'm going to sketch them. If I only needed one hour of work, how much would I be paying this guy? 80 plus 70, which is? 150. And how much would I be paying him? 90 plus 60. 150. So for one hour, aren't I paying the same? But if it's two hours, how much am I? Let's sketch it and then talk about it. Before I even sketch, we've got two unknowns. We don't have X and Y. Which one, C and T, will go on the x-axis? Now, I told you the independent variable goes on the x-axis. Anything that's independent. So, what is independent? Is time independent or the cost independent? Time. Because the time is decided by whatever, however big the job is, right? And once that's decided, isn't cost dependent on that? Yes? So the cost will be here because that's dependent and time will be here. We're measuring the time in hours and cost in dollars. So let's sketch the first one. If there's zero hours, how much will I be paying the first guy? Zero hours. 80. So won't the graph start from here? And then for one hour I was paying him 150. Let's just say this is 150. Does that make sense? So this is the line. Now, I've extended these lines as much as I could. Can I extend this line beyond? Yes. No. Can I? No. Can I have negative time? No. No, I can't. You may be. Can we have time that's negative? No. no. So you cannot have anything beyond this because time can't be negative. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Yes. Come in. Get the door, please. Happy with that? Which one is that? The Indian guy. C1. Next one. The second plumber. Non-Indian one. 
What does he charge me for coming there for zero hours? 90? So the graph starts from somewhere here? Yes or no? But for one hour, wasn't it the same? 150? For one hour, it was the same? Yes or no? So this is what the graph looks like. So which plumber's cheaper if the job was over more than one hour? So if it's two hours, which plumber's cheaper? Indian one or non-Indian one? Non-Indian. Exactly. So that's how you decide. But if it's a one hour job, which one should I go with? Indian one. So that's how you decide which uh, linear relationships can help you decide which company is cheaper with all those calls you get from all the Indian people for electricity, water, anything. You can use linear relationships to actually get a smarter deal. I do that all the time. But the most important thing is to plot and know which one goes on the x-axis, which one goes on the y-axis. So the independent thing goes on the x. Independent goes on y. Which plumbers are the best? Right, you got it. All right, <laughs> any questions? No. All right, get on with your work. Plot. This is an intro for 